Wow. You are being put through the ringer. I mean, I just... <sighs> the cackling. People won't leave you alone. It's almost as if you, you are being pulled apart. In every which way, like, like there is a full on investigation into you or that at least that's how you feel. Like literally somebody is systemically like dissecting you. It's almost like being audited, right? In a sense of everything that you ever did wrong is being reassessed, reevaluated, like put up there for everybody to fucking see. There's just this sense of like, whoa, whoa, why are people so into my shit? But it's got to do with something pragmatic. So it's actually, it's not just, you're not feeling it. You're actually going through it. There's something happening where you are just being pulled and picked apart. Maybe by just very judgmental people or people that need answers. They need tangibles. They can't just conceptualize or think or talk about it and let it go. They can't just let it go. They need to understand. They need to touch different parts of you to believe that you're real. They need to touch different aspects of your life or read through them to validate them for themselves. For you, you don't need the validation. You don't need it. You already know it. You already have it. You're like way ahead. But there's this heavier energy that's kind of like, well, like picking at you. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a horrible, no, you feel like it's horrible. This is really irritating the crap out of you. I could say this at the very least, you are, um, you are ready to fly. You are ready to spread your wings and let yourself go into a whole different direction. You're ready to be free. And you're basically, the more somebody picks at you, the more you are inspired to go in a completely different direction and inspired to do something completely unexpected, right? That's your mindset and mentality right now. But the truth is all of this is not happening. It's happening for you. So there's something going on in your life that is, ha that is driving you crazy, but it's happening for your betterment. It's happening to liberate you or free you or so that you can finally like be yourself again. It's almost like being picked apart to be put together again. That's my dog. You see her? She's in the back. Um, just so that you don't think there's some random sound going on. Um, this is your this is your gateway. It's your it's your rocky transition into I think a more sincere a sincere as like a, a more sincere version of you or you getting back to what it is that you really love. All of those are very general. And, and this is, it, the channeled energy is a very general energy. But what I, what I can guarantee you is that you are going to make it through. And Gemini, you're going to make this world a better place for it. Now, you are where the North Node is right now. Nobody likes the North Node, right? Because the North Node calls you on your shit. You know, there's that sense of like, um, they, you know, uh, needing to expand or broaden or open up or, or learn how to speak a different language. And it's hard. It's like, but why do I got to do that? That's work. Yeah. North Node is work. Absolutely. Um, but ultimately, you are what is better for people. You know, in a lot of ways, you represent communication in its most intimate sense of just being able to sit down across from somebody, look at them in the eye and listen to them and have a conversation based on really hearing them. And we have lost that ability, haven't we, Gemini? We have lost that ability. We don't want to talk to each other. We want to analyze each other, rip each other apart and rip each other, rip each other apart. Somebody's, I think somebody is trying to rip you apart um, and put you back together in the form that they want you. Or they're just trying to rip you apart to prove their own theories about you. And ultimately, this is a sense of, nah, bitch, I define me. You don't. You know, you don't get to dissect me to put me in an order that makes sense for you or that proves your points about me. That's not who I am, right? I'm the sum of my parts. And that's not really listening to somebody, is it? It's talking at them. It's preaching to them. It's lecturing them and maybe even some to some degree kind of brainwashing them, like picking them apart to make them feel bad about themselves so that they can reconstruct you in whatever way that they want you. Hells to the no, 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 no. 
You're on to this. You're wise to this. You know what's going on. You see what's happening. And you're not going to be a victim of it. You're not. But this is definitely the hardship that you have to go through to get to another point in your life. It's actually what's inspiring you. If anything, this is your fuel that is like pushing you in the direction that now you're sure of. Now you're sure of what is needed. Maybe a few months ago, you weren't really sure. You felt something, but you weren't really sure. Now you're very sure. And what's really interesting about this character that keeps trying to pick you apart is almost like, is that their way of liking me? Is that their weird, twisted way of showing me that they actually are interested in me? Instead of just, I don't, like, why are you picking at me? Maybe somebody is nagging you or won't let you be, you know, and it's irritating. But it's because in some ways there's a sense of like, but I want to learn about you. I want to know about you. It's one thing to want to know about me. That's great. It's another thing to like want to reconstruct me in the image that makes sense for you. Come on now. You hear all that? It's because I'm filming from San Diego and literally the city's on fire. There's just, I mean, not literally, the city itself is not on fire, but there's so many fires very close in the, um, the wilderness around San Diego that it is like we haven't really seen clear sunshine for about since the beginning of this week because there's so much smoke and ash in the air. So it's like, I mean, I, I know this isn't as bad as when P Pompeii exploded, but it is, it's scary that even just little brush fires could do this much imagine what a volcano eruption can do that's that's just that's crazy fire has a way of decimating in order to clear out and make things start fresh and new um i do believe i've just moved to san diego so i have to say i do believe this is about making people realize the changes that have to happen um what does that have to do with you? Nothing. But I did want to explain what I was hearing in the background. Thought you might want to know. What you were hearing in the background, I thought you might want to know. Um, I, uh, okay. This getting, getting absolutely back to you. There is a sense that you could flip the script on this, on whoever's trying to trip, trick, uh, pull you apart, um, dissecting their dissection, um, whittling away and figuring out how to cause doubt or shed doubt on, or sh expose, really expose what, what they're really behaving like, you know, so that it's seen and it's known and some pressure is taken off of you because you kind of need the pressure taken off of you. It's too much. The inquiry into your life, into your private affairs, it's too much. You don't, you don't like it. Now, Cougar, be assertive, came out. This is a card of uh, knowing who you are and finding the strength and the strength of character inside of yourself to be fierce as fuck. In silence, you find your power. In other words, don't let them know. In other words, you let them pick you apart and put all their assumptions and hypothesis on the table. And then you can like prove them all wrong and you're happy. It's like the more they try to dissect you and pull you apart is in a way you're actually like laughing at it because you know, you know that they're going to get the shock of a lifetime. Claim your leadership role and take action as well as proving that they're the ones that are doing it wrong. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. I don't, I just like, I don't think you give a fuck about what people think of you. They're trying to rip you apart. They're trying to rip you down. They're not going to succeed. They're not Gemini. The attacks are, are going to fall to the wayside. In fact, what they are really revealing right now is who they are, not who you are. They think they're revealing who you are. They're really revealing who they are. There it is. This is what I'm looking at. This is what I keep looking at. 
these high, posh, posh, pompous, kind of like um, devil, like, you know, not devil, like, uh, just like I got it all together. I'm correct. Standing apart, standing alone. This could also be you watching them get themselves into trouble. But this is use of Virgo energy, picking something apart, dissecting it without even really knowing it or trying to know it, but trying to know it in the wrong way. Ultimately, I will say this to you, Gemini, you're just watching them act like damn fools. You're watching them destroy themselves. Now, yes, you are having to go through part of this inquiry and it is wearing on you, but it's also inspiring you to escape. And it's like inspiring you to know exactly where you want to escape, where you want to head. It's teaching you who you don't want to be. So who you want to be becomes very, very clear. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. This exposure is not making you the victim. You're not falling victim to this. See, they think that you are their victim. You're not. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. You are the true north. You are the north node. Keep going in the direction that you know is correct. Right? You're, you're already doing what you need to do and it is, it is right. Do not doubt yourself. Inner temple. A devotion. True, a tune in to the portal of your heart. Now you are fine-tuned when it comes to music. So this is finding the vibration and following it. And it's also sticking, staying true to what you say, right? There's so much analysis on you right now. People are trying to like trip you up. People are trying to be like, oh, you said this. And you, why'd you say that? And remember when you said, yeah, I remember. Oh, I, I know very clearly what I said. I will say it again. What do you need to know about it? So in other words, it's through your conviction and your honesty that you're going to blow them out of the water. You're going to show that their uh, strategy is flawed, not only flawed, but prejudiced and wrong. But it's through your conviction and your sense of righteousness inside of yourself, knowing that, you know what, I'm not, I'm not denying myself for you people. Oh, hell no. You are limitless. This is Aquarian energy. Doing what's right for everybody by being yourself out loud. Showing them but that by being yourself, asserting, like saying, I am weird. I am not like everybody else. But you know what? Figure out a way to, to deal with that. You're leading the way for everybody else to be able to be their true north too, their true self. As well as the people who are trying to dissect you. Exposing who they really are. The, like picking everybody apart. Like, like they're, they're perfect and everybody else gets to like come to pieces at their feet. The initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. You're moving into another stage of your life, another level of reality and truth in who you are. But this is also the way. You are the way. You are the way to the right way, the right direction, the new, kind of the new norm. Creating heaven on earth, it's happening see you stepping through and it's hard you're getting a lot of resistance you want to know why because satan don't want you in heaven but this is the balance that has to come back it's like the people with the loudest voices now are actually the ones that are keeping things out of balance and don't dim to fit in you're waking up from a slumber, maybe from being too quiet and too silent. You know what? If they're going to judge you and pick you apart, you're going to give them a show. Raven, shaman. Wow. See, Raven is talking about shit that people don't want to hear. Saying those, those hard truths. Those truths that people don't, people don't want to know. Because they're too dark. Because they're too dangerous. Because they're frightful. Because they point out their own shit. Too fucking bad. The raven always brings the truth. The raven's not there to lie or torment somebody. People think he's bad luck because he tells them shit that they don't want to know. But it's the truth. And that's the problem. I think a lot of people are trying to pick what you say apart because you're telling the truth. And they don't, they don't like the truth. You are the creator and the magician. Use your gifts for good. 
There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. You know what's up. Let's get to the main reading. Not that that wasn't the best introduction ever. Blew me the fuck away. Transformation. Scorpionic energy. Butterfly effect. Things are changing and you're ready. Oh, you spread your damn wings. You showed them your colors. You showed them your bright colors. You show them exactly who you are and you're finding people like you. The more you are who you are out loud, the more you find your soul tribe. Right? And it's almost like I want to get out of here. I'm just done with you. I'm not, I'm not running away from you. I'm leaving you behind. Because I, I'm done with your crap. I'm done with this shit. Traveling to where people will actually listen. People will actually understand. People will actually comprehend and not be afraid. Hold on. Ooh, this is Aquarian energy way in the past. This Uranus energy, this rebellion. Maybe this rebellion that started a long time ago and maybe you didn't jump on it. You didn't jump on it. Because it, it, it didn't work for you. Or maybe you ignored it. And maybe you're ashamed of that now. But ultimately there is a sense of being liberated and being freed. Maybe being liberated and being freed before everybody else. Which was why you were ahead of everybody else. You don't like the tethers. You don't like the chains. You don't like the harnesses. And sometimes you do act impulsively. You do act impulsively so that you won't get caught. And you won't get chained up. But ultimately that's changing now. It's changing. Why is that changing? Because you're not a bitch like that. You know when it's important to dig your heels in and to stand up for something and stick up for something and say and do what's right. And that's what's going on. Look at this scorpionic energy, all kinds of twisted and in reverse. People that are trying to call you out and bring you down and make you look like shit. Like this is like a smear campaign. That's what that is. That's the energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Especially in the presence of somebody that, you're, that is important to you. Especially when they know that you're, you're in the presence of some, something that's going to make you happy. They're going to try to like make you look like shit and dig up all the crap on you. That's, the, that's what this energy is. Digging up all that crap on you. Like, like thinking like, okay, exposing all this is going to make them look really, really bad. The truth is, it just makes you... It, it may look... you may, it, it may make you look bad, but you owning it, accepting it, and saying, all right, well, you bought it to the table. Let's go through it. But you're controlling it, not them. You're not letting them say or impose their labels on your shit. You're like, nope, you can stay away. Thanks, sweetheart. Keep your label machine. I'll let you know what all this is going on. And it's through courage and not running. See the big picture. Be fearless and bold. Damn, we could just stop there. So this is Taurus energy. Very secured, very solid, but also very great. Elegance and grace. Right? Holding your head up high. Holding, like holding yourself to a high standard. And this is Aries energy. Right? This is, this is the energy I just did. I just did Aries. I just did Taurus. I just did those readings. That's interesting. But there's a sense of having a firm sense of self and a firm sense of purpose and how to get things done. Where am I going to invest my money? What am, it's, it's not even about, it's because Taurus is money, but this is like higher level Taurus. You know, this is about being able to commit to something long term and stick to it and know that it's worth it. It's like you see the value in somebody. You see the value in yourself. You know you're worth the investment. And you're entering every single room understanding that you have confidence. You're assured of your win. This is getting something done. Moving forward. Because it's like you see something. You can see something that other people can't. Because you have this higher vision. Why? Because you're the fucking North Node. That's why. You're looking down on everything. You see it. You see what's necessary. This is confidence. Yeah, leaving yourself wide open. Hold on a second. Why did this message just came out? You ain't playing anymore. You're just running loose. You don't have any filters. Nope. 
Nope. It's like you've forgotten everything that happened to you in the past. You let it all go. You let it all hang out. This is a Taurus. This is a, they're vulnerable. Oh, that's what it is. They're in a vulnerable position now. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus or you're just dealing with somebody who's trying to bully, bully you. Because this is a bull. This is a bull. That's what it's called in, Taur in elephants. They're trying to bully you. Trying to stampede you and railroad you. But now they're vulnerable. They're vulnerable. And you ain't playing. You ain't messing around. And you ain't mincing words. You're not holding anything back. And you're not saying what people want to hear. You're digging in deep. You're going underneath the surface and you're like, you're like literally just absolutely surprising people with what you say. You're shocking people with how honest you're being. And it's, it's, it's self-defense. Bring your ideas to life and magic works through you. Somebody has been trying to manipulate you. Somebody's been trying to like shock you into submission. Somebody's trying to whittle you and manipulate you. This is Cancerian energy. Um, this is this is uh, impede you, stop you, stop you from doing something new or um, not letting you through, finding reasons to keep you there, try finding ways to make you stuck, not letting you move on, not letting you make progress, just impeding, impeding progress, impeding progress. And making you look like a piece of shit. And like I said, you're on to them. You're on to them. Somebody who is stuck on tradition and stuck in their ways is trying to stop you with all your new ideas. Stop, shut down all your new ideas because they're afraid of them. And they're dependent upon, it's like this, yeah, it's like somebody who just, it's somebody, people, this mindset that is stuck, like not wanting to let it go. Remember the North Node just moved out of, it's like, no, 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 I still want my turn. Well, you don't get a turn anymore. It's not your turn anymore. It's not your way. You're the one, you're not the one directing. Um, not that you're necessarily dealing with a cancer, it's just the metaphor. You know what I'm saying? It's like, let the fucking torch go. You're supposed to hand it over to me. Oh, you don't want to? People just want to keep thinking back. Time to let go. That's right, bitches. Time to let go. It's 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 irritating. It's 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 going to get to a point where people don't don't have a choice. And whatever idea that you clung to, you got to let it go too. Because letting it go liberates you. It frees you from the constraints that they're trying to put on you. And it hurts. There's some sort of pain here. Some sort of suffering. Maybe disappointment. Disappointment in the way that people behave. In, in their lack of capability. Their lack of foresight. Scorpio season. Scorpio season. People finally like moving on. Moving on. Scorpio season. I feel like somebody's also trying to like guilt you. Yeah, they're trying to like work around and, and guilt you. Ooh, turn knowledge into wisdom. You got shit on them. You got shit on them that you haven't even released, but it's going to come out. And when it comes out, they're going to just gonna be like throw their hands in the air because they don't want it to come out. See, you lay, that's the, your strategy, right? You lay your shit on the table. You're like, all right, I'm not running from my ugly, but they don't want to admit to it. They want to still keep it hidden. You're about to expose it. That full moon. That full moon in Scorpio. But around that time, you're about to expose it. And be, to defend themselves, that's when they're going to let go. Because they're not going to want their shit exposed. Let's get some angel money. Oh, I can't wait to get into tarot. I can't wait, Gemini. That link is below. You can jump over there right now. But let's get some. Before I leave you, I want to give you some angel messages. Because I know they got something to say. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I knew they had something to say. Love. Love coming from Archangel Michael who is protecting you. Wisdom. Understand. Like really not just knowing, but getting it. Like understanding. Divine intervention. Oh. Someone's about to shit. Like literally divine's about to jump in here and shed some light on somebody else's shit. 
let's start with love. The heart of love is the heart of creation. All is possible through love. All is worthwhile for love. May all you think and feel reflect love's eternal truth. And this could this is divine love. This is connection. Love is connectivity. It's being connected to everything. So it's like you're not coming from a place of being cruel. You're coming from a place of really wanting to take care of. Even if you have to be that kind of like deliverer of the bad news that people don't want to hear. And they, they want to make you into the bad guy. You're just telling the truth. You're, you're not going to fall victim to their cowardice. You just keep doing it through how? Love. But do, just go, go about everything that you do with love, including love of yourself so that you don't have to, you don't worry about anybody finding anything out. Wisdom. Everything has a place and a purpose. To be wise is to have great love, tolerance, and compassion for all things. Yep. So in other words, you're not attacking. You're not dissecting. You're accepting. You understand. You understand where their fear comes from. You're not backing down. Archangel Michael. The path is now clear. I have removed all obstacles in your way. You can move forward now with ease and confidence. You will achieve what your heart desires. Achieve what your heart desires. You're going to you're you're the winner. Archangel Michael is making sure of that whoever is going to try to attack you, they're going to block those attacks. And you do, you, you need defense. You need kind of divine intervention, divine intervention right here. You need it because there's a lot of people that want to, that want to bring you down or shoo you away. Get, get away, get away. You may feel frustrated because something stalls or comes to a standstill. Progress seems painfully slow, yet this is a blessing. It is divine intervention at work. When the timing is in perfect harmony, all will come to fruition. You're not going to have to stand out there all alone any, uh, much longer. Much longer. It's going to be exposed. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Now, let's get to the nitty gritty. Join me. We're going to go into tarot. For the mysteries of tarot. No. But there's, there's a lot of shit here. So, I can't wait for you to hear it. Link is below. I'll see you over there.